Tell me, I, 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 I want to know. I, I, I want you to say it. You never made me calm. Okay. Well, have you seen a doctor about that? I loved the performances in Pillow Fight. That woman was, I was so upset for her. Um, as soon as he said, well, have you seen a doctor about it? I, my jaw dropped to the floor. I was like, no, he did not. Um, I felt so badly for her because he was just so clueless and not connected with her, not tuned in. Um, clearly like not able to give her what she wants or what she's looking for and isn't really willing to compromise on it either. Um, really well done really well done um in terms of like locations it was really simple it was the bedroom and the living room and it was very uh just performance driven uh and i think it really really worked um it was it was so enjoyable i thought the tension was really palpable and the reactions were realistic um just great performances great actors uh and a great short little film that told uh, a story that had a really well completed arc story arc and um yeah just really really enjoyable film <laughs> the gb is for pillow fight i love this film this interaction is so honest their performance reflects the vulnerability needed to have this sort of conversation, and the script is uh, the script's approach to this topic. It's it's done quite sensibly, and I think it is very realistic as well. It is an opportunity to either move forward or define that this is it for a relationship, and yeah, I think they they just the title is quite clever it really doesn't let you know what this is about and at the end you understand perfectly why this title and i i i love the casting it is an interracial relationship which also poses additional stress stress in any interaction and uh, it just i loved how the words look like I, something I would say, for example, or hear in this particular situation. And it's, yeah, it's perfectly scripted, perfectly performed. I really enjoyed this and yeah, perfect. This was a good film. There was some really good moments here. Um, just good relationship drama, which is always a win. They uh, do a good job at getting us invested immediately and uh, keeping our attention with the relationship because it is really, I mean, talking heads, we got two people, uh, one or two rooms, um, but because it's just that juicy relationship stuff that we love, uh, it absolutely keeps us uh, entertained uh, and just sort of leaning in. Um, the great job with the writing for the most part, um, good buildups uh, for tension and um, then cutting it. The, uh, I'm thinking specifically the have you seen the doctor line that was great um so really i enjoyed this one hats off to everyone involved pillow fight was really cool uh, just a ordinary short film with between argument between man and his uh, girlfriend a guy and his girlfriend and it just focused on the character dynamics the conversation the dialogue it's like there was a climactic event of the sex in the beginning but then the whole movie, the whole story was just them arguing. So I like how it didn't build up to that. Like it's kind of in reverse climax and then the conflict. But so that was pretty cool. And uh, overall, it was an interesting story. It was very much something I could see happening in real life. So it was very effective in that way. Pillow fight. 
This was totally not what I was expecting, just from the title alone. But it makes so much sense as to why the filmmakers called it that. I was like, ah, very clever. Very, very clever idea. This was done so beautifully and so well. I enjoyed it so much. The It was written wonderfully. I think both of the lead actors did such an amazing job. Um, the filmmakers, the way that they shot the intimate scenes, the intimate scene rather, um, they did a fantastic job. It was beautifully done. It was expertly executed. I love the shot that they had in the mirror of her back. Both actors had such a nice chemistry between them that there was nothing awkward. It didn't make the viewer feel awkward. It was great. They did a great job with that. I found myself getting so drawn into the story and the emotions between your two lead actors and what they were feeling and how they were delivering all of their lines and the very difficult conversation that they were having in that living room. And it really makes you feel like you wanna see what's gonna happen next and you want everything to be okay. And I like the fact that they leave it on a cliffhanger of where you don't know if it's gonna be okay between them. So I'm kind of hoping that there's gonna be a part two to this because I'd like to know what happens next. <laughs> it was great. It was a really great film. Next, I saw Pillow Fight, which uh, just to start, I think is a pretty clever title for this film given uh, what it's about. Uh, the lead performance here is the first thing that sticks out to me as something worthy of praise. Uh, she was uh, fantastic throughout the whole film, and I think part of that is it's not just her performance, uh, but it's also the writing. The dialogue here in particular is very believable. Uh, the creative choices in the writing, uh, such as these kind of awkward silences throughout the film, uh, the comments that are kind of made uh, by the male character before he... Uh, really has time to think about what he's saying and then the consequences that come out of that. It's Yes, it's uncomfortable to watch, it's frustrating to see, but I think in a very intentional way, which is something that I, I always appreciate when something like that is done as well as it is here. Um, the film just feels very organic uh, because of this. Uh, it doesn't feel scripted, it doesn't feel planned, it feels uh, more spontaneous, which uh, of course I'm bringing it up as a positive, I think, was a really nice thing. Uh, and overall, I think the film just has this uh, almost uncomfortable sense of intimacy about it. Like, this is a conversation that we as an audience shouldn't be a part of, but uh, here we are. Uh, and I think that the, that comes across not just in the writing, but also in the visuals, uh, in the way that this conversation is shot. And I think that that matches really well uh, with the story of the film and the conflicts between these characters. Uh, so overall, I uh, really like this. Writers and the writers nailed how oblivious men can be sometimes to the clues that women give. And this executed it really, really well in both the writing, the direction, and then the actors nailed it. You could feel for her as her boyfriend didn't respond to any of her clues. Where she had to literally spell everything out when at first she was just trying to be nice and hint around to what was the issue and she quite literally had to say it. The actress did very well at conveying that. You could feel her ex exact, you could feel her frustration on the screen. She's, it was really well done over something that many couples have probably fought over. All because men don't always listen to clues.